fuel system all plumbed up. This uh, used to be an oil tank originally when these things uh, came from wherever they came from. This was an oil tank that held, it holds 20 gallons and it was a dry sump oil system for the engine. It would suck oil out of the tank into the fuel pump or into the oil pump through the engine and then it would drain from the crankcase back into the tank. Much like a dry sump system on a uh, race car or something like that. So you could have a gigantic amount of oil. So basically you'd never have to worry about the engine running out of oil. And the fact that these ran 24-7 for however long, weeks at a time, months at a time. Um, I'm not sure where they came from. I think they came off of like radar sites or remote telecom sites. I'm really not sure what it was. Um, somewhere that they didn't have any power. They came from Washington State originally where they were made. Um, and the two twins, this one and the other one, and then there's this third one. It, has, it is a little bit different, came from a different company, but they all came from Washington State, and I think they were in Alaska, up in that area, is where they originally came from. Um, so some kind of remote communication sites or any kind of remote sites where you wouldn't have, you know, up there where they don't have power. <coughs> but uh, I converted the oil tank into a fuel tank because we don't need 20 gallons of oil, obviously, if you're just going to use it as a backup generator. Uh, it holds uh, holds about eight quarts, eight or nine quarts of oil in the actual uh, crankcase. So uh, that's plenty for what I'm going to use them for. And uh, didn't have a fuel pump. I don't know how what kind of fuel system these originally had. Um, there was no fuel system at all. They just had the fuel lines cut. There was no filter. I bought these filters and the bracket for the filters I was lucky enough to find on eBay some original Lister fuel filter brackets and a few of these uh, Delphi CAV style filters, new old stock, and uh, got a mechanical pump for it. There were no pumps or anything on it. It had a block off plate. Put a fuel pump on it. We got a ran, uh, used the original oil pickup tube that runs to the bottom of the tank. I just plumbed it into this line, up to the fuel pump, through the fuel pump, into the filter, then into the engine. <clears throat> had it running a little bit ago and the fuel filter was leaking like a sieve. These stupid filters from this style filter, there's a, a uh, rubber o-ring between the filter housing and the filter, and another one between the filter and the bowl, and then another one here between the bolt and the bowl that holds it on. It's just kind of a challenge to get them sealed up properly. Uh, original, you know, when you first set them up, but uh, the other one, it sealed up no problem. It didn't have much, much leakage or anything with it. This one was a little bit harder to, harder to get it to seal, but it, eventually I guess it did seal. It's not leaking anymore. So, let's fire it up and see if it'll, uh, see if it's leaking, leaking anymore.
pretty good, no drips. <clears throat> All right, next thing, one thing left to do is mount a starter on it. Got a piece of half inch plate waiting on uh, coming in the mail. I originally bought the wrong starter for it. Uh, these things came in both uh, counterclockwise and clockwise rotation. The engines did, so you had a different starter for each rotation. This one's a clock uh, counterclockwise, which was the more common, the more common of the two. I ended up with a starter for a clockwise rotation, and that didn't work out so well. So we sent that one back, and finally, after a lot of research and digging, found the right uh, the right number for these. So. Looks like a fairly good quality starter, so we'll find out. So, if it was just me keeping it, I'd probably just I'd just use the crank start and block off that starter hole. I mean, it starts so easy with the crank, but uh, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna sell them, I'll put an electric start on them. I know everyone, not everyone's gonna want to crank on it. So, well, until we get that plate in the mail and get be working on that, that's all we got for now. Laters.